Hi, I'm Russell Wingle from the Castrol V8 Supercar team. This is my job, and trust me, it can be hazardous. Oh, oh look at that! Look at that! That's so oh, no. tender! Oh, oh, he's got the car. Craig Wells! Oh, la oh. oh my oh, goodness, God, that's me! That's nasty. That's why safety is so important, but it's just not up to me, it's a team effort. Safety is everyone's responsibility. I know that come race day, everything possible has been done to keep me, the other drivers and spectators safe. The officials have got the track in good condition, my team's prepared the car to its best, the safety controls are in place, we're ready to go. This mountains can't move, this is the FAI 1000, let's hear the V8 roar! When I'm out on the track, I rely on the team to support me during the race. Whatever the motorsport, health and safety must always come first. If there is an accident, you must be able to safely walk away. He has flown off the mark, we've got problems there. Oh, oh, look at that, oh, that's no. Paul Morris and Mark Lundell. Oh, oh, wow. Geez, I hope he gets out of that yeah, in a hurry. Yes. Whoa, that's oh, going to oh, go Oh no, bang. there's fuel everywhere. Yeah. Larkham's out of the car, I hope Paul Morris got out. Goodness me, I hope the fire marshals get on the scene there quickly. I think Here they are. Still in, yeah, he's out. Well, yeah, we'll good work of the fire marshals. They're in there within seconds. We all know the hazards of motor racing and the controls that must be in place. Things like roll cages, seat belts and fireproof suits. And everyone works together to make our workplace safe. Just like motor racing, health and safety in mining and quarrying is everyone's responsibility. It's a team effort. This video is an introduction to occupational health and safety in the mining and quarrying industry. It will help your team, including managers, supervisors, employees and contractors, identify, assess and control workplace hazards. The video is in three parts. Part 1 introduces us to the mining and quarrying industry, the people and their responsibilities. Part 2 introduces us to the safe hazard management process. And part three looks at managing workplace hazards using the SAFE process.